Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at this, which is a portable clothes dryer. Does this actually dry clothes and shoes as advertised? Let's find out in today's video. Starting off with the unboxing. All right, let's take a look at this multifunction clothes dryer. I paid about 50 bucks for this. I right hear the contents, got some clips, a couple of pouches here, the shoe adapter, and this is the dryer itself. The claims are that it's a mini clothes dryer for travel, cruising, RVs, comes with two drying bags, four clothespins, and a shoe drying attachment. Easy to pack in your luggage, also includes a UV light and compartment to add scents to your clothes. People on Amazon who liked it, a lot of people have said it's great for travel, also works well for swimsuits or other clothing. The shoe drying feature also seems to be pretty popular. Some people online who didn't like it complained that the Amazon photos didn't show the power cord, which they say is not very long. Well, I don't even see the power cord yet, so I gotta figure out where that's at. When we do that, we'll get started. For my first test, I wanna try it on a t-shirt, and what's nice about this shirt is you can kinda of tell when it's wet, so we can see how even the drying is, and here's what happened. All right, I'm gonna try simulating and washing this on vacation here. I'm gonna stick it in the sink. What I like about this one is, is that you can see that it gets a lot darker when it's wet, so we'll be able to tell when it's dry. So I'm just going to wring this out. All right, that's pretty well wrung out, so let's, uh, let's try the dryer and see what happens. All right, so all you have to do is place the strap over the bar, lock it in place. All right now the, uh, the arms go out, and there's a little lever here that pulls down, keeps that up like that, both sides. And these even have extensions that go out here as well. It's weird that the cord is up here, but I guess it's not because the air has to come out of the bottom. So here's the cord, it's not very long. All right, so let's put this, uh, this wet shirt on here now. You got the bag that can go around it like this. All right, I think we're ready. So I guess we just push the power button. And now the timer, that's one hour, three hours. One hour, I guess it is. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Well, it's kind of filling up like a balloon a little bit. Oh yeah. I've got the, uh, the timer set for about an hour, but I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and check on it. All right, it's been a half an hour. Let's uh, check it out. By the way, I should mention, that's how long the cord is. I had to use an extension cord. because It's not a long cord. Some people in the comments are complaining about the cord. It is not very long. It's still a little bit damp, but it's, I would say it's about half dry. So we go a little bit longer. All right, it just beeped and turned off. So we're right at the hour mark. Let's check it out. It definitely feels warm. It is warm feeling. Okay, well, it is not totally dry. Let's see. Now you can see that the, the top is dry. The bottom is not. I would say it's half a success. The top half is successful. The bottom half, not so much. What if I need to keep running this a little longer and see if I can get the bottom dry? Hmm. All right, here we go. The alarm just went off, so it's been a total of two hours. Let's see what we got. And the bottom is still a little bit damp, although most of it's dry. Top part feels nice. Uh, just a little bit of damn at the bottom, so I don't know. Is that a success or not? You guys tell me. This is supposedly good for small garments like socks, so let's see how that went. Kind of looks like an IV bag in here, doesn't it? Well, I'm gonna try a quick test using the small garment bag and a couple of these hooks. I've got this kind of pair of thick socks. I'm gonna get them wet. And this kind of smaller pair of thin socks and get them wet as well. I'm gonna put one of each on here with a dryer, one each on the table, lay flat, and we'll see how they do. All right, a damp black sock laying on the table. Another thick, damp black sock. We're gonna hang it up. Two thin, wet socks, one going on the table, one hanging up. All right, I've got the one hour cycle on, but I'll check these both in about 30 minutes and see how they do. Look at the thermal imager. You can definitely see the heat. It's not completely uniform, but it's, it's definitely warm. Looking at the socks on the table, they're actually on the cold side. So the heat is definitely real. Look at this, that's uh, over hundred degrees. Doing something. Let's see how they look after 30 minutes. All right, the ones on the table, this one feels very damp still. And the thinner one, it's still pretty damp. It's not as damp as the other one, but it's still pretty damp. Let's try the ones from the dryer now. I'd say it's about half dry at the top and it's still pretty damp on the bottom. Kind of like the shirt. How about this one? Oh, this one feels almost completely dry. From the two thin ones, the one from the dryer is dry and the one from the table is not. Definitely an improvement there. So far, I don't see as much of an improvement on the thick sock, but let's go for the full hour and then compare at that point. All right, the alarm just went off. Let's check it out. 
All right, let me see. You can't, you can't really see the moisture in this one, but it is still kind of damp at the toe and up to the top where it's almost completely dry. Now the one that was set layout flat, it's still wet all the way down. So it's definitely an improvement. Dryer laid flat. The dryer one is dry on the top, damp in the bottom. The laid flat one is damp everywhere. It still took an hour to get it mostly dry, but still better than laying it flat. The one function I really wanted to find out how it worked was for shoes. I tried a couple different shoes I bought from Timu, and here's what happened. All right, let's try out the shoe drying feature now. That's what we got right here. I got a couple pairs of shoes from Timu. I'm gonna have one of each type with a dryer and one of each type just out in the air open. Compare and see what happens. Now there's the attachment here, I just kind of stuck on there. That's all you have to do, and these pull out. It starts off like this and ends like this. All right, so this is kind of what they're showing. Let me turn this on and see what kind of uh, air we got out of here. Power button. Go green, I think green is the three hours. I'm gonna go with that one because it's gonna take a while. I should point out that I took these shoes out in the backyard. I sprayed them with a hose, let them drip dry for about 10 minutes. And here we go. Oh yeah. Fill them up. That's right, nice and wet. Yeah, I do feel some a little bit of warm air coming out. Not not much of a breeze, but a little bit. I mean, those hoses are warm, so I mean, they're doing something. So I'm gonna put them in the shoes and see what happens. Now these hoses aren't very long. You don't have a lot of a lot of room, so you're gonna have to have this unit right on top of your shoes almost. All right, so I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm just gonna let it go until until they feel kind of dry, and then we'll see how the control shoes feel in comparison. So I'll come back when something changes and let you know what happened. All right, at the Two hour and 50 minute mark, the three hour timer went off, so not exactly three hours. But let's see what we got here. Just feeling them with my hands, uh, these feel pretty dry. I would, up here, definitely very dry. There's a tiny bit of moisture in the toes, but overall I'd say it's pretty dry. Now these, they feel pretty damp. They still feel quite damp. Let me try paper, the paper towel technique, see what we got here. That is a damp paper towel on one of the shoes that I was using for control. I'll try this one here. Look, nothing. Almost, I would say it's almost completely dry. So you can see that there's still quite a bit of moisture on that shoe. None on that one. So as far as I can tell, the shoe dryer did work faster than just leaving the shoes sitting out to dry. I think a lot of people will probably be using something like this for travel, especially having like a dress shirt for a convention. So I tried it on a dress shirt and here's what happened. Next up, I'm gonna try a dress shirt. I just got this wet, wrung it out as best I could. I'm gonna put it on here and see what happens. All right, it's doing this thing. I'll come back in a couple hours and see how it turned out. All right, it's almost at three hours about to turn off. Let's check the thermal imager before it turns off. You can see it's on the hotter side up top. Now down below, it gets, it gets cooler. The hottest part's the very center right there, 109. Go down toward the bottom, it's only in the 80s. Now I checked it at the two hour mark and the top was dry, but the bottom wasn't. Hopefully the three hour mark it is. Let's check it out. Okay, up here, this is nice and dry and pretty warm. And it's dry all the way down to the bottom. In fact, just the cuffs are a little bit damp, but the rest of it's pretty dry, so not too bad. It's pretty wrinkly though, but it is dry. I guess dry and wrinkle is better than wet and wrinkle, right? So in the end, I do think that it works, although probably slower than some people might like. It depends on your expectations. It is faster than just laying clothes out. It is a bit uneven. I found that it dried the top faster than it dried the bottom. Although I do think the shoe feature worked probably better than the clothes. So to me, this is gonna be a bit situational. How you use it and what clothes you dry with are gonna really dictate how much you like it. I do think it works. It seems a little bit large for some suitcases, although once again, it's gonna depend on how much luggage space you have, whether this is actually a good fit. So although I do think this works, opinions are probably gonna be divided on how well it actually works. If you've used a portable dryer like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.